Hey, what's up everyone? Hi, this is Kevin, investbankofproperty.com Alright, so, uh, yeah, I'm a bit behind schedule. Uh, this video is supposed to come out last Thursday, uh, but uh, something came up, so, you know, better late than never. Right, um, if you have been following our channel, if not, you're watching for the first time, please do hit the subscribe button. Uh, we constantly come up with new videos and information about the Bangkok property market. All right, we try to get you up to speed as much as we can. All right, so um, basically last video I did a uh, very brief preview of this project called the Lai Priority Park by San Siri. Uh, in fact, this project is going to be launching or, or previewing this coming weekend. All right, uh, that was a very brief one and as promised, I am going to do a more in-depth review uh, I'm going to talk a bit more about the location, what's going to be nearby. I'll tell you um, about the, uh, let's look, take a look at the floor plans together. Uh, we'll take a look at the unit types together. Um, I'll just also share on why I think, you know, what makes this project stands out uh, from some of the nearby surrounding projects. Uh, we also talk about whether there's any rental demand and what's the existing rental in that area right now. And most importantly, you know, I have the uh, price guide for this project. So in fact, if you guys are interested, um, you can actually check with us on the price of the specific units, which I will just share briefly later on. Right, uh, and last but not least, uh, later on at the end of this uh, video, I'll be sharing my thoughts on whether this project, you know, is it something that you should really be seriously considering, right? So, um, yeah, without further ado, uh, let me just roll the intro and then we'll just get right into it, alright? So, see you. Alright man, so this is the Lai Pa Yotin Park and uh, we'll start off by just running through the uh, basic info or highlights of the project first and then I'll just go into the um, project's location and then we'll talk a bit more about the floor plans and then last but not least we'll end off with the price point and what kind of a rental you can you expect if you were to invest in the unit in Pai Yotin Park Alright, so uh, once again, this is a project that is a joint venture between Saint Siri and BTS Group, so that's why um, it's called the Line. Alright, uh, they have had several other collaborations before, um, so the Line is something not new to a lot of uh, investors. If you are always in tune with the Bangkok property market. Now, this is a high-rise condo, thirty-two floors, a total of eight hundred eighty units. Um, one of the major selling points, uh, as I mentioned earlier in my previous video, is the fact that it is going to be 300 meters away from the upcoming Lat Prao Intersection BTS station. All right, so that's going to be a brand new station, and uh, it is expected to be operational by sometime end of this year, if not next year. All right, uh, if not, then existingly is also about 600, 700 meters away from MRT Park Yoti, which is which is a existing um, station. All right, uh, so to understand a bit more about the location, okay, you can actually visit our website investbankopproperty.com. All right, and if you were to scroll down, all right, you will actually find a Invest Bangkok property map which we have done up and we are constantly updating uh, all the landmarks and information right so um, these blue ticks are all the uncompleted projects that we have marked out so you can actually um, look for it here or if not then um, you can zoom in and let's see it should be this one right so this is the line by your park all right so you can click here you can see more information but uh you can actually explore and play around with this later okay what i want to show you is uh let's take a look at the amenities okay you, you realize that the uh the green bts line will now you know this is the current map you, you just stop at more cheap so there's this extension that they're building 
it'll run all the way up all right and there will be one station that's just uh, 300 meters away from this project okay and um, let's let's just understand what uh, some of the facilities all right uh let's take a look first at maybe commercial buildings all right um there are there are a number of commercial buildings around all right uh, so you, this is the uh, siam commercial bank headquarters right and then these are all uh several office towers that there's there's a cluster of office towers over here you can see all right this for you okay and these are all where you actually find the um, Thai uh, multinational companies, you know, they they actually set up base here. If not, then uh, there'll be a lot more businesses that will actually have their offices here. So these are potential tenants that will be looking out for houses to stay um, in this area. You know, if if they do not want to be too far away from where they work. Okay, so besides commercial building, um, there's a couple of school there's a university and then there's a state school over here um shopping and entertainment all right or, or rather uh, we talk about amenities um if you need to get your basic stuff then there's this tesco lotus lap brow that's nearby uh there's a big c extra all right but if you want to um, look for the nearest major mall then this is famous central plaza lap brow right um you can actually check out our video all right i'll probably just put the link above you can click above all right uh, we actually visited this central plaza lab Pro. it's one of the largest central malls in bangkok uh it's it's very popular and very crowded there's there's all kinds of fmb you know you can basically get uh, all your all, all your stuff over there all right and it's kind of connected from uh Pyodin, um MRT station also right uh, and then there's this Union Mall. Union Mall is, is um, somewhat like a platinum mall right in downtown so so it sells a lot of fashion stuff clothing uh, and whatnot right there's also a major cineplex uh, further up right uh, next time if the station is up you, you can actually take one or two stations up to this major cineplex right so this is um, how it is there are some offices around there's shopping options around and we actually marked out this exact you know plot of land that is going to be uh, the line pio team park and the station will be somewhere here along the main road okay and um perhaps uh, another interesting thing to take note is uh just one station down all right you can actually hit to chatu chat weekend market right and um and not only that you know this this entire area uh will also be the uh Bangsa grand station this way the major interchange that we always talk about uh so it's gonna be right here so um you know the idea is uh when when it's fully completed there will definitely be a lot more offices that will be located here um that will bring a lot more traffic over here and hopefully you know it will cause a boom in the surrounding regions the they after re leading to higher demand for property and property prices in this area right and uh if you need to head overseas you know um you can actually just go straight further up a bit you know where here is impact arena that's where the uh Dormer airport it's not too far away you see from here to here a drive or a taxi uh, you reach there very in a very short time okay uh, for the existing uh, people who are staying around here uh, of course the nearest train station will be Payotin and Payotin would be um, this blue line will actually a couple of stations will actually lead you down to Raman 9 okay you can take a look at this um, slide here all right MRT blue line so there will be three stations to Bangsa Grand Station all right uh, then five stations to thailand cultural center which would also be a um, interchange uh, in time to come because it's gonna be uh, intersecting with the uh, orange line that they're building right so thailand cultural center is where once you come out you will see um, the uh, thailand stock exchange that's 
also nearby there and there's also another area that uh, we are experiencing very high rental demand that's at Thailand Cultural Center um, okay and of course uh, the the famous one Asok you know Terminal 21 or when you visit Thailand for holiday you probably like to stay around here so it's only eight stations away from Asok okay this is the existing line okay for the green line okay the station that will be ready will be this uh, Lat Prao intersection Okay, one station down Mochit is where you can actually reach the Chatu Chak Park. Um, another three stations down to Ari. Um, there's another video that we uh, actually visited Ari for some food. Uh, it's, a, it's a pretty nice um, up and coming neighborhood that is uh, giving you a bit of a Tong Law vibe. Okay, but not that developed as Tong Law. Um, and then of course this this green line is a is always a very important line. Um, as as it stands now, majority of the expatriates loves to stay along this green line because of the convenience it brings, right? Uh, and uh, from from where you are, Lapa intersection is only eight stations away to Siam. That's where the main shopping belt of Bangkok is. Okay, and uh, this is completed from Mochit down this existing line. So where Lapra intersection is, you see this light green line. So this is under construction. Um, the estimator will be done in another one year or so. Now this um, the line piloting part is uh, uh, located in a pretty interesting place. All right, um, it's off the main piloting road. So once you come in, you will first see a building. All right, this is an existing condo called Abstract Piloting Park. Um, if I remember correctly, it was completed. Uh, it was launched in around 2010, so yeah, it's probably been around for about um about six, seven years old. All right, and then um this next to it is where Piloting Park will be. All right, so it's one single block that they're building up, and this empty land next to it would be a future project. So likelihood. It will be another condo, uh, whether is it by Sensory or anybody, you know, uh, it will depend. And um, another thing to take note, if you look to the right hand side here, okay, these three plots of land will actually share this common facility, which is a parking building. So it, it, it's a parking building with 16 stories excluding basement. So residents from either of these condos, you know, you can actually park your car over here. So which um, brings me to another um, mention of the unique feature of this project, or rather, should we call it a, a selling point or attraction uh, for this either of these two condos? It's the fact that there's a there's a there's a huge uh, green lung that's just right outside um, the condo. So this this huge uh, park and garden. So if uh, for anybody who you know who are buying for own stay, um, uh, they would they would definitely love this uh, green space, open space that is right in front of them, right? Rather than you know uh, being right next to a main road or you're looking into somebody's house. So this this definitely a a a feature that is very welcomed by the locals as well. That's the reason why. Um, sometimes you know during weekends you also see that they will actually make a effort to actually visit certain parks uh, where they will just go out and chill and enjoy the open space enjoy the fresh air right which is uh which is uh, something that is much appreciated in bangkok all right so uh okay so coming back here so now that's the that's the reason you will know why you know there's there's so many parking lots uh usually the ratio is probably less than half or probably only one third especially for condos that are so near to um, the BTS station, but in this case, because they have a entire um, parking building that will allow you know a lot more cars to be to be parked there, so you have a lot more lots here. Okay, for this project, uh, we're talking about um, you know one bed one bath starting from thirty one point seven five square meters, uh, two bed two bath from about fifty eight square meters, and um, interestingly, you know they also have a duplex. If you love loft units or you want a much larger unit, then the duplex starts from about 79.5 uh, square meter upwards. So a total of 880 units.
Okay, let's uh, next up. Let's just talk a bit more about the facilities. Uh, I think this is worth a mention for this project. It's another um, thing that the developer is uh, uh, putting a lot of effort into to make this a very uh, attractive proposition for would be buyers and investors. Right, um, you, you you know usually when you have a building like this, uh, thirty two stories, they could probably put in a thousand over units. I can I can probably put in a lot more uh one bedroom units. You know, the the reason why um there's only eight hundred and eighty units is because you know out of this entire block they are setting aside three thousand square feet of space for recreational activities. So that that is where they try to stand out and they try to uh position this line piloting park as a more upscale condo versus uh, probably some of the other projects around that might be a bit more mass market so 3000 square feet uh three, sorry 3000 square meters of space or oh, what do you have you know they, they actually have a lot of uh, I, I guess it's the lifestyle demand of the people over there right now so you have a lot of co-living co playing and um, cool lifestyle thing so you know all these are common spaces where you as a resident uh, you can achieve are uh, free to use so you have this lounge um you know there's a lounge yeah there's like there's a study table tv you can just chill out together um there's a cooking studio there's an open cooking studio all right uh in, they actually put in some of the pretty high tech stuff like lg fridge smart food recycler uh, which is this thing here right so it, it's also free for the residents to use can come together and cook a meal together um you know a lot of green lung open spaces there's garden on the top floor there's garden on the 22nd floor it's garden on the 23rd floor um so that you don't feel too uh, claustrophobic together right uh, there's another view of the garden right co-working space right a lot of uh, millennials are now working from home or freelancers so you have all this co-working space okay uh co-creation okay there's a co-playing studio uh you know essentially like a games room maybe for kids uh, because you have a slide here right and then you have this uh very very huge gym Okay, uh, in, equipped with uh, smart technology and of course not forgetting the uh, infinity sky pool right you actually get a very very nice view of the city skyline uh, because there's there's almost no blockage uh, uh, in the immediate surroundings of this condo okay they're, they're putting in a lot of smart technology as well um, using a lot of green material green innovation the idea is to uh, use technologies to save money and uh, help you save money and make things a lot more efficient right so it's like uh, like for example you have your solar charger uh, they actually are going to install solar panels at the top floor so that you know the building can actually run partly on solar power um, I remember okay eco-friendly painting um, yeah you can probably just ask us for the brochure we'll send it to you so that you can actually just go you know these are not um, say the main reason why it will make you want to buy this condo but all these um, little little things uh, attention to details to details will make this entire development stand out um, it will make people take notice of this development um, you know the, the idea is uh, you know when, when people talk about um, oh I, I, I want to buy a house a property in somewhere near Payotin um, or I want to rent a apartment, a new apartment somewhere in Payotin. Um, you know, you def definitely bring to mind the live Payotin Park. You know, that's that's. I think this is the effect that they're trying to achieve. And by uh, being able to be at the top of uh, everybody's mind for for anybody who is looking for property in this area, then there's always a chance that there will be a better demand. You get a better rent for your property uh, in Payotin Park. All right, man. So moving on, uh, I uh, let's just go right next to the uh, floor plan and let me show you some of the uh, layout of the typical one bedrooms, two bedrooms, and how the duplex will look like. 
Okay, um, the, the units uh, will actually start from the second floor, second level. Okay, that's where you have a bit of a uh, garden and then the unit actually start. So you can uh, see from the color scheme here, right? Generally, this gray, blue, each color, uh, these are all the one bedrooms of uh, various sizes. All right, and then um, as usual, they will always put the... Uh, the, the larger unit which are the two bedrooms all right by the corners so that they actually enjoy uh view on both sides of the windows okay so this is on the second floor um the units will actually run from second floor all the way to the 31st floor and then your swimming pool is on the 32nd floor okay um i think you can actually uh consider units if is available on the 22nd floor all right because this is a unique uh 22nd and 23rd floor are pretty unique because that's where you actually do not have the entire level of units you have half of it which is the uh, facilities so that there's something um special all right um so half of it they dedicated to the co-living co-working space which is somewhere in uh 20 which is on the 22nd floor so you get some view over here all around Okay, uh, all right, 24th floor, 28th floor, and then on the top floor, that's where you have your swimming pool and your garden, your playground, and your exercise room. That's the, where the gym is, right? Okay, um, yeah, let's just look at how a typical one bedroom will be like. All right, so we start from the smaller sizes. Um, very straightforward, all right. Rectangle, squarish layout. You come in, you have your kitchenette, and then your bathroom is on your right hand side. Your living, and then your bedroom. So, uh, it's pretty much the same, just that um, to a different degree of uh, maybe slight difference in sizes, and then your bathroom could be uh, of a slight a difference in the configuration. Other than that, it's pretty much um, this shape, all right. Um. Okay, that's another 1A type. Okay, we talk about 1B. Um, okay, 1 still means 1 bedroom. Uh, when you see B and C as the alphabet move, then you will see that the size gets larger. Um, a bit of difference between the A and the B. In You come in and then your kitchen, especially the C probably, you come in, instead of coming through the kitchen, you get the living room and then your bedroom with the attached bath uh, which it which you do not get for 1B and 1A so if you prefer your bathroom to be um, like a must like how a normal master bedroom is configured then you would probably just want to consider straight from 1C type which is 36 square meters and also you will realize that um, for this type 1C uh, you actually can have a proper enclosed kitchen so some people might prefer that kind of layout okay uh, and then you also have a few variations of type c's okay okay and then you have your 1d uh, which is the largest possible one bedroom size so you have a much larger kitchen and dining area. You can see the difference. Okay. So uh, yeah, for, for for those of you who are buying for own stay, uh, and you find that you know thirty one square meter might be a bit too small. I think this is a very very good size one bedroom. In fact, if you go back to central Bangkok, um, some of the two bedrooms are at about forty five square meters okay so now let's talk about the two bedrooms uh we start off with the 2a so so you know this at the corner um you'll you'll come in all right through the kitchen area and then you will have access to the living and then you have your two bedrooms and two bath so it's two bed two bath 58 to 60 square meters okay uh, then you have varying um, different corners they have slightly different sizes okay the largest is probably be the two uh two b all right 64 to 66 square meters 
okay, a, a way larger uh, multi-purpose hall area is no longer a balcony right the smaller ones are still balcony and if you if you want an extra like half a room you know you can consider this type 2b because it's a multi-purpose area so you can probably enclose it up and use it as a study room okay and then um and then of course the largest largest type is the um the duplex which i mentioned so uh this is how the duplex will look like huh double story this is the ground floor you come in uh kitchen and close kitchen on the right hand side your living your multi-purpose area then once you go up the two bedrooms are actually uh on the second level uh sharing a common bar so the, the first bathroom is actually on the ground floor and then the second one is upstairs. All right, and uh, I think the view is fantastic. So um, consider getting a high floor unit so that you, I mean, the but the beautiful thing is, you know, because there's no building uh, right in front of you uh, and there's only the park. So even if you were to consider units on the 10th floor or 8th floor, you know, you essentially you still be looking out into a uh, a garden view, so that that's really uh pretty okay to me, you know. But of course, if you are considering things like uh units on thirtieth floor, twenty fifth floor, and then this is this is what what you're looking at is probably the view that you're gonna get, right? So um the building is is uh is uh, elongated, so you remember from the floor plan is either um to the to the front or to the north or to the south. So so basically it's just uh, pretty much north-south orientation. So if you choose units that's looking to the north, there you have it. This is the kind of view that you'll be looking at. Okay, uh, pretty much unblocked all around. Okay, and then if you were to uh, consider units on the south, then even better, all right, because, you know, this, this is literally unblocked. Okay, just, just to your right, you'll probably see the future... Um, Life Lark Proud Valley and Life Lark Proud that will that will be uh, built up and coming. So um, yep. So either way is fine. Uh, but if you can see here, if you want to avoid this building, potential building that can block your view, okay, which is somewhere in the middle, then the safest bet will be go going for the south, right? I don't think there will be any issues for units that are. Um, at the corners, I don't think there will be any issue. I don't think there will be any issue for the two bedrooms also. Just that you have to consider whether, uh, whether what's available and whether you want, whether you want, you know, the afternoon sun, which is coming from this direction. So, uh, I think either is fine. Um, personally, of course, you know, judging from the photos, I'll probably prefer the south view over the north if possible okay so um now i'm at the uh, ddproperty.com which is a uh, a pretty popular um property portal for um listing of resale or rental properties in thailand right and uh, i'm going to show you you know i i have already a quick search of this project called abstracts biotin park if you remember Earlier, I mentioned that there's the a existing condo that's right next to it. So um, that's the name of this project called Abstract Biotin Park. So you can see from here, you know, the year of completion is 2013. So we're talking about a property that is about six, seven years old. I um, uh, just want to give you a, a quick indication of the rent that is ongoing uh, in the area right now. And since it's going to be right next to it, um, it will always be a, become a point of comparison for future tenants so um so it will be okay to to it will be prudent to just look at this you know uh, as a guide so i i did a quick search for the one bedroom so you can see that there's a range of they have a range of different sizes so for our sake uh because we are talking about 30 square meters so you can probably look at the those that are like about 30 something square meters um so that's like asking price of 15,000 the studio is 12 so um you will always expect that um you know from this price there will be a bit of negotiation so probably you know uh you, you'll probably rent at about maybe 9,000 or 10,000 or 11,000 Taiwan per month right uh the bigger one seems to be in the region of about 15 to 18,000 all right uh even the larger ones at about there 
Okay, so of course, uh, in uh, when the line piloting part is completed, it will be brand new. Uh, the finishing will be better. Uh, there will be a lot more facilities. So you would you would expect that um, you you should be able to to command a premium over the uh, uh whatever that's being being uh, fetched at abstract piloting part right now, right? Uh, exactly how much um. Uh, that is something that nobody can promise you. Uh, but as a guide, I I would say that it's always prudent to you know use this as the downside. You know this this probably you know you, you have to ask yourself you know based on the asking price. If let's say um this is the rent that I can get, uh will I be okay with it? You know if you're okay with it, then um anything higher, let's say you know because it's new, you can probably rent for about eighteen thousand or twenty thousand. Uh, type up per month then it's always a bonus uh but but we will always uh ask our investors to exercise uh prudency and caution uh just plan for the worst first all right so it's 345 square meters is about 19. so of course being a new condo next time you should be able to ask for a higher price than what it is now you know assuming that uh, uh the market conditions doesn't change too much overnight Okay, uh, we can then also take a look at the two bedroom, you know, just for comparison sake. So they do have two bedrooms also, 58 square meters, uh, 29,000, 23,000, oh, but this is only one bathroom, two bed, one bath. Uh, remember just now, the units that we have for the line, piloting part are the two bed, two bath. So you probably want to look at this, 29,000. Okay, seems like to be almost 21. So, okay, they, they do have a lot more of this. Alright. Okay, 20 something. So, probably for the two bedroom in the line piloting park, you should be able to command a rent that is um, closer to 30,000, if not more. Alright, and uh, Generally in condos, uh, the number of two bedrooms being built are very very limited. You can you can see the entire building, uh, eight hundred eighty units. There's only four, uh, units of two bedrooms per floor, and uh, that's not also forgetting that there would also be a number of people who will, uh, buy for their own use as well. All right, man. So, conclusion. Um. Okay, let's talk about the good things about this project. All right, um, I think the uh, location, the potential of the location. All right, I'll use the word potential would be something that will draw uh, some investors to this, right? Especially the Chinese um, who might have uh, heard of the uh, high speed rail, the Bangsa station. It is definitely happening. All right, if you if you go to Bangsa right now. You know, it is uh, construction is well underway, and um, the first phase expected to start uh, complete. You know, in the 2020. So, with such a major mega project um, uh, happening, right? Uh, there will definitely be a lot of human traffic flow, and there will be uh, businesses. There will be a lot of economic activities that take place, and ideally, um, this. Um, this good thing that's happening out of it will actually uh, have a spillover effect to the to the surrounding areas, right? There, thereby, you know, that's why um, the land prices have risen quite a fair bit in the surrounding areas as developers scramble for for land to buy. And so that's one, and of course, the number two is the uh, BTS effect, right? So they will always um, uh, share with you that you know, um, a property, you know, at, at this so and so location would be this value, but the moment the BTS completes, uh, there has been proven examples that you will actually see uh, property prices appreciation, and in some cases it can go as high as about 25-30%. So that's uh, also uh, uh, another plus point, and not forgetting this uh, Lark Proud Intersection BTS uh, is somewhat like a interchange between here and the uh, Pajotin MRT. So, so it's kind of like 300 meters to the BTS and 700 meters to the MRT. And the blue line brings you to 
the Thai Stock Exchange at Thai Culture Center is just three station, or you go to Bangsa in three station also. And that green line is the line that you know go down to Siam Shopping Belt. So, so I, I don't think there's any questions about uh, convenience, right? And of course, uh, in terms of uh, whether this place is livable, you have, um, you have like the shopping mall, La Prao shopping mall, and all these things. So. So uh, that that's definitely a good point, and of course, um, if I may add a third point would be of course the the, the quality of Sen series, the branding, right? The line series is uh, always a um, uh, better finishing a high end condo. So uh, this project will actually even come fully furnished. So they're giving you pretty good uh, quality finishing. Uh, the the electronic furnitures are of uh, uh, very reputable uh, quality, very good quality, um, and. As just now, you know, earlier in the slides, uh, we saw that how they are using a lot of uh, green technology. Yeah, they're putting a lot of um, uh, special things into the facilities and all these things to make this uh, entire project stand out. So that uh, I mean, I will give it a plus also for this project. So that um, so that when when it's completed, um, compared to the rest of the projects, which are probably built like cookie cutter or mass market then um, people will gravitate towards a better quality you know uh, they will say that hey if I want to stay in this area and I want a, a good condo then probably the line piloting will probably be one of the best around okay so these are the good thing all right uh, let's talk about the price all right um, for the one bedroom uh, as a guide all right uh, we, we, the prices starts from 4.4 million Thai baht upwards so that's the one bedroom size and then for the two bedroom uh prices start from about 8. Uh, 8.3 8.4 million type but right uh, but majority of them are at the 9 million to 10 million range for the one bedroom um there's uh, the few smaller ones are about 4 million plus then the rest are at about uh 5 between 5 million to uh the largest one all right uh, which is the 41 square meter is about 6 million pi but so that's the price point. Um, um, in terms of the rental, you uh, we've seen just now the one bedroom uh, generally asking about fifteen to eighteen thousand. So if I were to just use a, a median range of five million Thai baht for one one bedroom property and uh, eighteen thousand uh, Thai baht per month rental, uh, you are expecting a yield of about four. 4.3% return which is pretty decent um, let me see what else um, yeah so so that's that's it all right so then let's talk about the downside um, this is not a location that people will start looking for all right uh in, i'm talking about the foreigners right uh we we as foreigners we are usually more familiar with the central areas like if you tell people about tong law you tell people about ekamai or even if you tell someone about ari uh, people would know um so do not expect people to start asking about hey uh i want a condo at Paiyotin or something right uh, they may know about the bouncer grand station they may start looking at uh, condos around the La Prao Biotin area, but um, uh, it is quite less likely for someone to straight away ask for Biotin versus someone who say, oh, you know, I want to buy somewhere near Aso, I want to buy somewhere near Tong or Ekamai. So, so you have to manage your expectations on, on that part. Alright, of course, having said that, uh, you would have also seen that, you know, projects like Noble or Ari, uh, the prices have actually been uh, driven up quite a bit. So, um, so for so people who want to buy around the area, you know, uh, spillovers, then um, then you know when people start searching for San Siri projects, uh, this will come along very nicely. Okay, another thing to take note of is also of the um, competition of the surrounding areas. That's just something that you as an investors you have to understand very well, right? Uh, in recent year or in the past year, you know. Um, you you have launched uh there's a live lot proud the valley 
which is actually still selling. And there's another uh, uh, project, the Live Lab Pro, all right, so same developer by uh, AB Thai, all right, uh, that's about 90% sold. Uh, but these two projects add up, uh, we're coming to close to about 2,700 units uh, that is coming into the market. Uh, plus, there's a couple of other existing projects. Uh, uh, smaller projects are launched, another few hundred, few hundred. So we're still talking about three thousand over four thousand units coming into supply, and I haven't had these eight hundred eighty units plus potentially the the spot next to it. So um, so is anybody guess you know what happens? Uh, of course, when developers build the 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 condo, it is always in future anticipation that you know as this area grow, then you have more demand coming in. All right, so, uh, but this may or may not happen. So that's uh, that's something nobody can promise you. As much as I like to paint you a very, uh, a very nice and rosy picture, uh, you have to also be aware of the potential supply that are coming onto the market. So you have to ask yourself, uh, with a budget of about four or five million, uh, is this, is this uh. The best I can get, or or is is there some some somewhere else that probably I can consider, uh you know so so that's something for you to think about right um uh but the 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 supply numbers that I mentioned just now are real all right these are projects that are that are on coming into the the market uh this project is priced rather uh, competitively uh existingly the areas the the project the few projects i mentioned just now uh some of them are actually selling at about 1400 to 1500 uh thousand uh, uh, type up per square meter which um the line piloting park you know uh majority of projects are also for for within this price bracket so that's pretty decent and for this price range you're getting a higher grade condo so that's um I, I would say that's another plus for this project as well all right so um uh well in conclusion i do feel personally feel that uh uh i i, I feel that you know when this project the take up uh and the target market the attraction will really be more towards the local ties uh the 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 local ties yes correct because because the convenience is definitely a, a plus point and then plus the fact that you know the rent is still slightly uh, still more manageable about 15 16000 uh they can get to town pretty easily so a lot of ties will probably consider buying a, a a condo here and then they might stay or or um uh to take it a point further you know if you are a landlord then very likely your your tenant would be uh, probably the middle local ties, uh, mid, mid, middle income local ties because you have the uh, uh, several of the MNCs like uh, the Siam Commercial Bank, you have your Thai Airways, your Bangkok Airways, they're all around there. So these people working there, you know, they, they actually look for a house to stay around here uh, compared to properties in maybe uh, Ari or you know, you go down to Siam, definitely you will be paying a lot more, uh, paying a lot more for, for that kind of rent. Right, so so um yep that's it for this video so if you are interested to find out more about this project if you want to take a look at the brochure you want to know in depth uh, which are the good units to consider then uh, just feel free to visit our website at the link below uh, drop us your contact number we'll be in touch very very shortly or if you have any questions uh, regarding investing in Bangkok property you know just feel free to um, you know leave a message below or contact us we'll be happy to you know uh, answer your queries as much as we can right so uh, i guess that's it for this video i hope you guys have learned something uh do you know uh, leave a like share a comment below um and i'll see you in the next video see you bye bye